Hi, I'm Edo Beretta here and in this video we're going to see how to install the Python 3 version of Red9 Studio Tools in Maya 2022 or newer, as well as tackling the common issues that you get while trying to mirror poses or animation in Red9 Studio, as requested by some of you in the comments. As a bit of a heads up, this channel now supports Super Thanks! Red9 Tools recently switched to a subscription mode and it might have become less than easy to find the free version on their website now. Also, via the comments to my Red9 videos, people complained that they had errors when installing Red9 Studio. So when they launched Red9 Studio, they would get a new error called No Module Name Startup. This is usually due to either installing Red9 in the wrong folder or having installed the wrong version of Red9. So let's see how to sort this problem out as well as other issues you might encounter when trying to mirror your pose or animation. If you google Red9 tools download, you will find that among the first results, there's a GitHub page called Red9 Studio Pack from MarkJ3D. This is the Red9 tools repository, let's go there. And this is the free version of Red9 Studio. And if you visit that GitHub page, you might be thinking you're in the right place. But you have to keep in mind that in Maya 2022, we're using a different version of Python, we're using version 3 now. So let's check if this is really the version of Red9 tools that we need. So instead of downloading this one, we are going to go on the main page of the repository by going on the top left side of the screen and clicking on Mark J 3D. And that brings us to the main page. And if you see, there is a Red9 Studio Pack for Maya. And on the right hand side, there is a Red9 Studio Pack Python 3. This is the one we need from Maya 22 or newer. So I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to download the code. Then I'm going to check the content of the archive. And in there, if you head over to the folder named startup into Maya Native, you should find your version of Maya, 2022 in this case. So we know this is the right archive now. What we need to do is grab the master folder from the archive Head over to my Maya Preferences folder. If you are on Windows, this will be on this PC, Documents Maya. In there, find the right version of Maya, 2022 in this case. Go into Scripts, and this is where we want to extract the master folder. So we're going to grab the master folder, drag it over the Scripts folder, and then last but not least, let's rename this to Red9, simply. And once that's done, we have to find out how to execute the command. In Maya, create a new Python tab in the Script Editor, and type in import space red9 and in the next line red9 dot start open bracket closed bracket make sure you get the right capital letters otherwise you might have problems and now we select the line and we hit execute now it might seem that nothing has happened but if you go to the top right corner of the menu line in here you will find red9 and in here you have all the menus that's it. One of the common issues you might encounter with Red9 tools when you want to mirror your pose or animation is that you select both controls, you click on mirror pose and you get an error down here at the bottom that says failed to add node to mirror system. This happens when for whichever reason you forgot to set the correct IDs via the mirror setup tool. So if we were to select the controls and go into the transform nodes and look into the extra attributes in there, we would not find the ID and the side of the character. Again, if you want to know more about how to set up your rig for mirroring in Red9 Studio, I recommend you watch my very old video that explains how to do it. If we were to call in the mirror setup and assign the ID, let's say we assign ID 9 to this left shoulder and add and update its mirror markers and then we assign the same ID but the right hand side to the other shoulder and again add and update mirror markers. If we were to mirror the pose now, you see the mirroring would work and we would not get an error. In fact, if we were to come back to the attribute editor for this control under the transform node and into the extra attributes down here in the bottom right corner of the screen, you would find that now there is a mirror side that says right and a mirror index of nine. So now this is defined. If I were to grab the elbow, for instance, you see that we wouldn't find that attribute and trying to mirror the elbows in this particular situation would lead to the same exact error. Another very common error you may get is the one in which Red9 complains that it can't find an index key. This is usually the message you get, no matching index key found. The message is actually quite self-explanatory. If you grab one of the offending controls and you go into the attribute editor and you scroll down into the transform node, into the extra attributes, you will find the mirror side and the index. And you will find that very often these two controls that are giving you a problem have different mirror indexes. 
So if I now grab the left put in here and I see the side is left and mirror index is one. But if I grab the right one, you will see that the mirror index is indeed set to two. And that's why the mirroring does not work because twin controls must have twin indexes. So the same index. So I'm going to change the index in here. You don't really need to use the mirror setup to change an index. You can do it from the attribute editor. And now with the new matching mirror index, I am going to click on mirror pose and I get my pose mirrored. And really, these are the most common issues you find while mirroring poses or animation via Red9 Studio Pack. That's it for this video, I hope you have found this useful, and if you did and you would like to support the channel, you can use super thanks from YouTube now. Also, please consider sharing, liking, subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Have fun!